Epstein's lists hid client lists hidden all of Hollywood until we get that list period all of you every single one of you mother I'm from the future subscribe to me if you want to live have you ever seen a video title or thumbnail and you just absolutely know that it's going to destroy your childhood it's going to change you forever not for the better I saw Drake Bell is coming forward talking about his nightmare scenario getting groomed and abused and separated from family as a child star the way Hollywood seems to continually do to people and it leads a lot of them to a downward spiral this you know self-destructive behavior there's a lot of speculation on some of the gender ideology weirdness that happens people say with a surprising amount of evidence that a lot of people who go on this path of self-destruction in one way or another had been groomed and abused, especially in this industry. I'm Jeff D, host of the ThoughtCast News Show and Freethinkers Rebellion live gaming stream. This is another for the Freethinker React series. I'm not really excited about it, but we're going to watch along with Drake, hear what he has to say, and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to put this up, but I felt like I needed to record the watch through. If you enjoy my takes and want me to keep bringing these kind of videos, please leave a like, comment what you think, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into this. Okay. Dude, I have, I have five kids. The rage level is like through the roof right now. If you have not seen, you need to watch An Open Secret. It's a lot of the same, but it's very... Unfortunately, it's much, much lesser known actors and models, but dealing with a very similar thing, an open secret, Hollywood elites, Hollywood producers, Hollywood, you know, the, the who's who and the decision makers abuse the talent for their own disgusting needs. That's the open secret. But more and more of this keeps coming to light between Epstein Island crap and now this it's becoming a household everyone knows type thing. It's not a secret at all anymore. All right, let's keep going. Dude, that's freaking heartbreaking. That's so terrible. You can't, you can't let your kids be with other people, man. Like you just can't. And your kids are your kids until they're uh, adults, not, not 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, Barely 18, but you, this grooming shit goes deep, dude. It's so bad. Dude, my sisters love Drake and Josh so much. This, the damn show would be like on the TV all the time in the background. And it's funny because when we were kids, he was like a, the cool guy grown up. You know what I mean? But he was a kid. He was absolutely a kid. So it's so it's so brutal. I mean, yeah, it shows that was 99, 12, 23, 99. I was seven years old when that picture was taken. So Jake seemed like, you know, the cool guy older. It seemed like an adult when you're a young, young kid, but he's just a kid, he's a teenager. That's it. That's what I literally just said that Hollywood, dude, Hollywood, these people, they make themselves into decision makers. And then they feel like they can just do whatever the hell they want. They can Harvey Weinstein, whoever they want. You get what I'm saying? You get it. It's the same thing over and over again, but it's with these little kids, man. That's terrible. Damn dude. Oh man. I like, could you imagine you're on the phone? It's like, Oh, Hey, um, I was thinking to make meatloaf for Tuesday night. And it's like, oh yeah, well, that'd be great. But I've been getting fondled by these Hollywood douches forever. This whole time, this whole time, like my life is ruined. All the fun stuff that everyone thinks is going on is barely fun because I have this cloud of torture that's just sitting there above me all the days of my life. That's hell, dude. I feel so bad. How bad is it though, that people will sell their soul for this fame and fortune that going back to a like normal type of job 
is so horrible compared to continuing to live on like that, which obviously eventually they have the implosion like this. What are you saying? So it's not, it's not sustainable, but they try to sustain it as long as they can. And you look all over Hollywood, all these people, they're cracking, dude. The whole, the whole thing is just a house of cards. It's falling down under all this nasty garbage. They have all this secretive cult shit, basically, you know, in an open secret, the same exact thing happened. The guy did like a mini sting operation on his abuser. I guess it's not, that's not technically a sting because it wasn't like he was getting him to do the act, but he was getting a confession recorded whatever. And the guy was immediately wise to the fact that they were he's like, are, you, are we being recorded? Are we being recorded? We're not being recorded. You're sure we're not being recorded because they know like it's about to go down. So that's, I, I feel like the guy knew his time was up. Oh, get the wood chipper. Need the wood chipper. So bad. Fucking California. That's terrible. That dude's just as fucking creepy. The dad knew right away. I mean, look at this fucking guy. Would you let him be around your kids from like every one of those pictures and videos? Hell no. You can see it. You can, you can see it. Come on. But that's terrible. It's like, good thing he didn't get you, Sonny. Oh, shit. I hope that this, honestly, take it a second. I hope that this leads to a lot more people coming out and explaining exactly the same thing. Not, not that they want to air dirty laundry sort of thing or deal with their trauma in a way they don't want to, but this example here, this is the actual stunning and brave. Like people talk about, Oh, it's stunning and brave to, to do this or that. It's like, no, 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 this is brave to be like, Hey, you know how I was a total mess and they're like, ah, oh, he's just some Hollywood asshole, a rich kid that's doing whatever. It's like, he's destroyed on the inside, scarred for life by this monster and no one knew. So they just assume that he's just some bratty kid that's lashing out. It's like, no, he's a, he's a disturbed person, a, a damaged person who's lashing out. It explains a lot of stories. I'm just saying, look, look through the catalog of these damaged lashing out child stars. You just look at the catalog. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they got similar stuff going on. A lot of them versus all of Hollywood. They're all fucking pedophiles. All of them, all of them until we get the list. FBI hid Epstein's islands, Epstein's lists, hid client lists, hidden all of Hollywood until we get that list period. All of you, every single one of you motherfuckers. Cyclops sucks. What the fuck dude? Wait, didn't those kids have problems too? Please comment. Please throw in the comments. Didn't the Zach and Cody kids deal with problems too? Did this son of, was he still involved later? I mean, I know he, they just said they hired him. He got another job with kids, with young kids. Oh my God, dude. Oh, uh, no, I'm reading this. Dan Snyder says everything that has that happened on the shows I ran was carefully scrutinized by dozens of involved adults. All stories, dialogue, costumes, and makeup were fully approved by network executives on two coasts. A standards and practices group read and ultimately approved every script and programming executives reviewed and approved all episodes. In addition, every day on set, there were always parents and caregivers and their friends watching us rehearse and film. Thanks, Dan. You know, I'd feel better if all of those people weren't on 
the other bros side at the courtroom defending the child abuser. Like, okay, all of Hollywood's evil. And you're like, Hollywood said it was fine. The other people, it's like, okay. It doesn't matter how many of them say it's okay if it's wrong. And we saw how your kids were treated. None of them liked that crap. Nobody. All right. Well, that was even more damaging than I really thought it was going to be. Uh, I, I re really hope that you could give me some comments. Uh, I wanted to know about the Zach and Cody thing. Uh, what was the deal with Dan? I felt like he got into trouble too for like Nickelodeon stuff. Just please run me and everyone else up to speed. Uh, but this was one of the more painful of the Freethinker reaction series. If you like my content and commentary, you might enjoy my Freethinker reaction series with music or my new stream or come chill with me gaming. But I'm going to go and hug my children and imagine wood chippers. Lots and lots of wood chippers getting rolled down Hollywood Boulevard. That would be the day. <laughs>